Hello and welcome to Infinity. Curves are a very useful uh, tool and uh, let's bring up one here and show some of the things we can do. Of course we can know that we can change the shape of this by dragging it around the place and so on. You know, and adding other bits etc into it. However, let's just keep one point and see what happens when we drag it up. There's a point beyond which it starts getting useful things here about being burning out and disappearing and so on. So it, it just isn't much use up there. If we bring it down, we get the reverse effect or again, it's not a great deal of use. So in other words, we've got a limited range here, typically, which we find useful in the curve. So let's delete that and show a way where we can have the full range that is useful. So I can hit Control, Shift and click on the icon. And this selects here the by luminosity. In other words, it's selecting more by white and less by dark. And we'll see that in a moment, because if I put click on the adjustments here and select curves, then we've got a curves layer bring in here. And if I uh, control D just to get rid of the the uh, the lines, the dotted lines for the selection, and then Alt click on the curves. It's just gone black and white, but what happens actually happening is we're looking at that mask. So in other words, we're seeing a mask here made up of the picture. But the, 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 what this does is that the lighter areas then will let through more of the curves adjustment that we put in, and the darker areas, in other words, the shadows, will let less of it through. So it's kind of a lights filter. Um, but in a gentle sort of way, so you know, a bit at a time, not harshly, not a, with a sudden edge. So if I bring up this filter, for example, now, and if I actually need to select the background to get this back up again, here we go, let's bring that up again. There we go. So now if I drag this up, I can go up and up, and it's still useful. In fact, I can go all the way to the corner, and it's still a useful picture because of the mask that's uh, that is doing it is keeping it gentle. If I go downwards it's kind of okay for a bit but it starts getting muddy and uh, uh, ooh, yeah horrible. Um, so this is mostly handy up here but we can get down to the darks very simply by inverting this mask. So what I can do is hit Control J to duplicate that layer and then I'm going to hit Control I to invert it. So now, when we're looking at this, we are now looking at the, the darker areas. And let's have a look at that mask to see what happens. Alt click on the mask. So now we can see we are the, the whiter areas are what we're allowing through from the curves adjustment. And these are the darker things. Whereas things like the sky and the clouds, those are being held right back. So you're getting less of effect with that. So let's rename those, call that and darks, and call that lights. There we go. So we can now see what we're doing with each of these. So we can use these now in combination. So I can bring up the lights and play around with what I want to get, the effect I want to get there, looking more at the lighter areas of the picture. And then I can go to the darks and change the darker areas of the picture. But it does so in a gentle way. It, it's not harsh and there's no sudden changes. It's really, really easy. And I can still adjust the rest of this picture as well. I can, you know, I can use other points on the curves as we, we often do. So there we go really nice and it's really quick and easy to use. So what I'm going to do is delete these, go back to the beginning and see how fast we can set up this whole thing. And you can do it a lot of it with just control keys. So literally what I do now is first of all control shift and click to bring up the luminosity mask. Then I'm going to hit control M to create a extra curves layer. Then I'm going to do control uh, D to turn off the selection 
and then back here I can do control J to get another layer in and control I to invert it. Now I've got my complete set of controls. I can bring up the top one to control lights and switch to the bottom one to control the darks. That's quick and easy, wasn't it? Anyway, hope you found that useful and thank you very much for watching.